Welcome back, mitochondriacs, for another episode of Cancer as a Mitochondrial Metabolic Disease. Today, I wanted to give some practical tips about how to protect your melatonin, especially your nocturnal pineal-derived melatonin that is based on your circadian rhythm. So as I've alluded to, the receptor called melanopsin, that is the blue light detector, is located on the back of your eye. And it is a non-visual photoreceptor, which means that it will take in photons, but it has nothing to do with the visual system. It has everything to do with the circadian system. And although there are melanopsin receptors all over your body, your skin, your blood vessels, et cetera, it seems to be that the melanopsin receptors in the back of your eye seems to be the main signal. And when you get this right, you have a much better chance of preserving melatonin if you are still trying to live somewhat of a modern life with lights on at night. So the first recommendation is that you really get a hold of your light environment at night. No blue blocker, no gadget will ever completely fix your melatonin issue. Once the sun has set, you should be in complete darkness or near complete darkness. If you remember the graph that I put up that showed that you know LED light decreases melatonin by 80%, fluorescent 80%, incandescence 40%, and then some of these special LEDs and candles are at a much lower percent. The ideal would be darkness. The second most ideal would be candles and or special bulbs that have completely omitted the blue, green, and violet spectrum. And I can do a future video on that, but today I would like to talk about protecting your eyes at night in particular. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the glasses that I'm currently wearing. This is a prescription lens from EMR Tech, the company that makes really amazing red light panels. And this particular lens blocks 30% of blue light. And it's very specific. It's less than 500 nanometers. So you are really blocking the blue light in particular that is going to be damaging melanopsin and leading to circadian dysregulation. But this is not enough to really help yourself. These are glasses that I wear personally during the day, and I will wear these at night when I'm working in the hospital under fluorescent lighting, but only when I'm in front of patients. I will not wear these out in the nurse's station, you know, typing on the computer in the EMR, et cetera. What I'll do is I'll wear these in front of patients. I will do my interview, my exam, and I will leave the patient's room and I will switch my glasses almost as soon as I get outside. And I'm going to start with what I used to wear. I bought these glasses from Raw Optics. And Raw Optics has amazing blue blocking glasses. These are also prescription. And this is a yellow tinge, if you can see it on the video. And these glasses block anything less than 500 nanometers, which is in the blue spectrum that really is most affecting melanopsin receptors. But it blocks a lot more than the clear pair that I just had on. These block nearly 100% of blue. So when I have people telling me I'm wearing blue blocking glasses, my optometrist gave me blue blocking glasses. If they are not yellow tinged, at least yellow tinged, they're probably not doing a whole lot. I had also got a pair of blue blocking glasses from my buddy of mine who's an optometrist. And he uh, said, oh yeah, these are great. And I, I looked up on their website and I couldn't find what wavelengths they blocked. I knew that they blocked 38%, but I could not tell what wavelengths they block. So and they had a you know a minimal yellow tint to them, but I was not happy with those. So I, I went ahead and got these from Raw Optics several years ago, and I had been using these during the night when I didn't want to fall asleep for the last several years. And I felt like they were they're very solid lens. They have good optics, and they were fairly comfortable as well. So I'd been using these for several years. But the next lens that I want to show used to be my night lens. This is used to be the the lens that I would wear. It's an orange lens, if you can see it. And these are the, the lenses that I would wear before I went to bed or on nights that I wasn't working, I would wear these immediately after sunset. And these are the raw optics night lenses and they block everything from 550 nanometers down. So that's in the green range because melanopsin is affected by other frequencies of light, not just blue. 465 is the max spectral peak but you know it'll have a bell curve that'll go into the violet and into the green. And so that's why they designed these glasses. And I love these glasses. I've been wearing these for years 
And I have just recently made the switch to these being my glasses that I wear even during the early evening after sunset in the hospital or when I still want to be able to do stuff. Because what I found was over, over time is that these did not make me sleepy like I was expecting. They definitely are more powerful and make me more sleepy than the yellow lenses. But I had been toying around with another pair of glasses early on. And I felt that they were way more effective. And that is these. These are the these are the sleep saviors. You can get these on Amazon. And they're like 50 bucks. They're they're obviously not prescription, but they go over your glasses. And I would wear these and I would get sleepy like that. And I knew that they were having a big effect on my melatonin receptors in the back of my eye and my circadian rhythms. So I started wearing these, but they're really, you know, bulky, they're chunky. And there's pros and cons to that. Like there's not any light getting in anywhere around me. So there's much better effectiveness, but they're just big, they're bulky, and I didn't really want to go out wearing these. So when EMR Tech came out with their line of blue blocking glasses, then they announced that they were going to have prescriptions. I ended up settling on these, and these are the same frames as the clear lenses that I wear basically all day long, but these have the same kind of red tint that the big bulky sleep saviors have. And I find that these are unbelievable at helping me when I want to be asleep, asleep. I will not wear these while driving. I will not wear these even while walking my dogs because I, I it's really blocks a lot of light and I can't see. So if I'm, but however, if I'm inside and there's light on, if I'm watching TV at night, I can, I can see it just fine. And it, it really provides a lot more protection from just my testing that I've done on my own. And again, ideal, you're not exposed to any light at night. Second best case scenario is that you have candles and or you have special red lights at night. But if you, you know, want to live somewhat of a modern life and you want to, you know, watch a movie or watch some TV before you go to bed and you don't want to completely screw up your melatonin, these are an excellent option and they come in prescription, which is cool. So then what I'll do is, is that I will have blackout curtains so that no light is coming in the room. Obviously lights are off. And then I started with a company called Manta Sleep. I've used dozens of sleep masks. I used to work nights and I was traveling. This is the Manta sleep mask that I first started wearing. And it's pretty good. I mean, they're not, they're not cheap. They're like 30 bucks when you work nights and you're kind of in different environments. I don't do that anymore, but it really was a game changer for me, you know, in addition to the blackout curtains, because even, you know, blackout curtains, no matter how good they are, light just seems to find its way around. And uh, when you're sleeping during the day and it's such an unnatural situation, that really seemed to help me. And then just recently they upgraded, they have like different levels of Manta sleep masks. I got this like more professional Manta sleep mask and I tend to sleep on my side or on my stomach. So it has like a thinner eye cup and it's just ultimately a heck of a lot more comfortable. They're also not cheap. I got a good deal. It was like a Labor Day sale. Yeah, check those brands out. Raw Optics, they have excellent blue blocking glasses. I think that they're night lenses. So if you can tell, the night lenses are orange. My buddy Jordan, he's got a pair of their night lenses, but they're non-prescription and they look more like this. So that's what I was actually when I bought them, I thought that I was like I was expecting it to be like that, but they weren't. When they prescription, they came back at this orange tint. So I had been kind of just making do with those until something else came along. And that's when the when the EMR techs came out and their prescription and they had that red tent. I went ahead and jumped on them and I have been very, very happy with that. So again, this is just a crash course on how to use blue blocking glasses to help protect your melanopsin receptors, help protect your nocturnal pineal derived circadian melatonin levels at night. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, reach out in the comments. I think I have some coupon codes to both raw optics and EMR tech if you are interested in the, in the glasses. Until next time.